my planet zoo friends. Johnny5 Alive here, and I am joined here with Farana. Hey! Welcome back to another Planet Zoo Spotlight Contest Edition. Today we are gonna be looking at the ring-tailed lemur and the red ruffled lemur. Red ruffled lemur? Anyway, stay tuned and let's check them out. All right, welcome back everybody. If you guys are new here, be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you end up enjoying the video, leave a like and come join us on Discord and share your creations with this wonderful community. And with that out of the way, let's jump into the first creation of the day. Ring-tailed lemur exhibit created by Chapsoul, one of our Discord master builders and silver patrons. Thank you so much for your support, Chapsoul. And here they say, hey yo, Johnny, highly inspired by Floss's temple. I wanted to create an Indian lemur temple as thought I have created one. As though I have created one? I don't know what he's trying to say there. I tried to include guest interaction on the first floor, but unfortunately couldn't get it to work. Hope you like it anyway. Check out the exhibit itself as it as well as the underground viewing area. Keep up the good work. Bye now, Chapsol. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs> All right, let's jump straight on into it, shall we? So here we are at the exhibit. Not a whole lot going on on the outside compared to the other submissions. A little bit surprising, eh? Yeah, it's a little bit bare. <laughs> yeah, and we get some staff buildings off to the side, but these are the pre-made ones from uh, Frontier. At least I think they are, right? Yeah, I think they are too, yeah. I mean, Temple looks great, so we're going to really have to judge the actual habitat itself. And speaking of judging, you guys, the viewers, are the judges. So uh, there should be a little information button in the top right corner. You can give that a little click and... Uh, be able to vote on your favorite creation of the three in this episode. So be sure to watch the next three and then vote on your favorite. So lemur viewpoint. I like this. See, the only thing it needs is some decoration, you know? Um, the outside is very, very bare. So let's hope this uh, looking good down here. Even bare down here. But the viewing area is kind of yeah. nice. Yeah, indeed. Ah, stairs to nowhere. That's strange. <laughs> What is happening here? <laughs> Where's these ones go? Oh, he, I think he said he wanted to make it go up top so the guests would walk around here, but it didn't quite work. Curious to oh. know what the issue was there. Because this would be a really nice upper viewing area. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, check out some lemurs here. Let's see if they're climbing around. There they are. Hi, yo. Hey. Don't suck up the lever! Oh. <laughs> Jeez. A little bit of the ground coming through. Whoops. Uh, it, they, uh, do they like decorations? Because it's it's a little bit plain in here. There's not a whole lot of uh, vegetation, is there? Yeah. No. Um, I was thinking what vegetation would you put in there? But you could even, uh, if you wanted to m make it look like they... Uh, it's a normal temple. You could make it like decoration pieces instead of nature reclaiming it, um, even though that would be cool. I, um, I like that idea. It's like overgrown and being swallowed yeah. by the jungle. Definitely go with that idea for sure. But even uh, even if you d don't want to do that, um, then you can, you know, put centerpieces, flowers, whatever there, and then it's mm -hmm. more green inside as well. Now yeah. it's just a building. Uh, and a really pretty building, though. <laughs> yeah, you said you took your like inspiration from Floss and you made your own Indian temple, and I think you did a really good job of it. Unfortunately, this isn't a shop contest, you know what I mean? It's a it's a habitat contest, and I feel like the actual habitat itself is uh, very plain, with nothing on the outside, nothing on the inside. So the building itself, yeah, you definitely nailed it, but I feel like it's just lacking a bit of interaction, you, and there's alarms going off, like, everywhere. <laughs> What's going on with that? They're getting out somehow. Um, I, I would have tried to make it work so you can get the guests up top. I think that would have been your selling point, the overhead viewing, that would have really brought it up. And then, you know, touch up the outside, touch up the exterior leading to the habitat, as well as the interior down below, because it's just feeling a little bit play. There's no education signs, no donation bins, you know, all the uh, core essentials to making a good habitat are, are, are missing, right? Uh, even on the outside, there's none yeah. of that. So, a bit surprising from one of our uh, master builders here in Chapsol. Well, I can see the quality in, in the temple, for sure. 100%. Uh, I wish you, you would just, yeah, 
push it further. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. In the area around it. Yeah, uh, the the quality that you put into your temple, uh, if, if you match that on the outside, this would have come together as like a really cool area, right? I want to see some hills in the back and gardens growing all the way around here, and that would have captivated me. So it, it feels like a yeah. bit of a work in progress at this point, but mm -hmm. a strong effort nonetheless. So thank you so much for your ch submission, Chepsol. And let's check out the next creation of the day. The Mazola Dome created by Captain Swizzer, unranked builder right now. Not sure what's going on with that. We'll try to sort it out for you. This is the no, Mazola Dome, a little jungle for lemurs. I chose the red rough, roughed. Is it, how do you say that? Red roughed lemur. It also has an outside area with a lake viewable from a gallery at the other side. For the realism, I put the exhibits inside a tunnel in a dome as of most of the domes uh, have th them in real life. All of the staff buildings are covered as a little African village hidden behind the dome. I sadly couldn't finish the details on this creation as I planned because I ran out of time, but I hope you like it. Okay, let's take a closer look at it, shall we, Ferana? Yep. So here we are. Now, did I, am I saying that right? The Mazola Dome? Mazola Hall? Mazola Dome? Mazoala? Ma Mazoala? Mazoala. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, that looks incredible. Yes. The Indeed. the trim really well done. <laughs> going around it. The little window crops. The dome, that that's incredible. How do you even do that? Ooh. I never understood. That detail is really stunning. <laughs> mm-hmm. So here's a look at the actual park area. They said it's unfinished, but it looks pretty polished to me. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I agree. yes, it could work. Use some work on the outside, but like, really, that's not uh, like it, it. This is the work on the outside, really, because this is where the people are walking through. This is the viewing area. We have the garbage bin, benches, information. You can see the monkeys from here. Very cool. Now, where does this lead us to? Staff management, a little African village back here for the staff. You know, not a whole lot of detail in here, but that's not a requirement for the judging. It just needs to have something, and I think that's more than enough. I like it. And then this is how they get in. Let's explore this area a little bit. We have a dome to go check out as well. Feeding platform, maybe? So, oh, that's cool. The side of the dome is open so they can kind of cross between the dome to the outside. Ah, that is a cool feature. Really well done. You want to pull your mic a little closer, Ferrana? Yes. <laughs> so here are these guys are. Yeah, that's are. really cool. Look at that big tail. <laughs> so uh, let's go into the dome from the, the, the proper way. So this is one of those uh, interaction features where the guests can go in with the monkeys. Wow. Oh. That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Love this little gazebo. Ooh. That's real cool. So immersive. Interior garden. Ah. Oh, we already have real e nice. exhibits on the sides as well. Some uh, lizards. Iguanas. More iguanas. Snakes. I like that. Built into the side there. That's nice integrated. Very nice. Ooh. This is some top tier stuff right here. I love the waterfall and everything in here. Very captivating. Got smoke. And I like how you built that uh, exhibit feature into the dome. That is a really solid blooper. No wonder, I, I'm assuming it's going to be a, a large enough where you can actually save that to the workshop, right? Or small enough, I should say. Oh, uh, you can never tell now in Planet Zoo. It's not the same as Planet Coaster. It tells you the objects, but not the objects within the objects. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Captain Switzer is a master builder. Oh, really? So Yeah, that's, yeah. that's not showing up for some reason. I'm trying to drag it over and it's not working. 
It says error. Yeah, he's not in the membership form. Oh, if he's not in the membership form, how's he a master builder? I don't know why he's not there. <laughs> that is... He's been a member for a while. But then he has to be in the membership form. Let me do a search. Maybe I did it wrong, but... Swizzer? Oh, he's just, he's listed under Swizzer. That's... Oh. That's... Did he change his name? That's a good question. So you have to either go with Captain Swizzer or Swizzer. I'm going to update it to Captain Swizzer. That's why it's yeah. not coming through. And it also seems yeah. like they would have changed their email along the way. So it, it, the, our form either checks for your email or your name. And if neither of them match up, you don't get a rank. So um, both things have changed since. So we updated to Captain Swizzer. And now it is showing as Master Builder. So there we go. There is a match. Now this is this is wonderful work. What do you think, Farana? This is beautiful. Um, I like I said before, I really like it when you enter a new zone. You get that wow effect of entering like a whole new, a whole a lush new garden, world. <laughs> a whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, really nice done. And um, this, the, the design of the dome is really cool too. I haven't seen that done yet this way. The mm -hmm. details on the roof. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely glad he's showing up as a master builder. I didn't know what rank he was, but uh, this is master quality work for sure. Really well done. So hats off to you, Captain Swizzer. We're going to have to leave your name as Captain Swizzer for now on. When you resubmit something, go with Captain Swizzer so your rank shows up. And uh, we've updated that for you here today. But uh, amazing creation. What did you guys think? Be sure to vote on your favorite creation. But we have one more to check out. So let's dive right on into that one. The Ruffed, Red Ruffed. Is it Red Ruffed? How do you say it? Ruffed? Ruffed? Is it Ruffed? Um, red. Ruff wait. <laughs> red Ruffed li Lemur? Red rough, red rough, red rough, red rough, red, red, red rough, <laughs> lemur islands. <laughs> <laughs> Created by Pikachu076, one of our Discord builders. And here they say, hey, oh, guys, this is my second creation for Channel 5 Gaming Habitat Challenge, the red rough and red, 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 red lemurs. It's a walk in <laughs> island habitat with red rough and lemurs and ring tailed lemur for show. It has a nice plaza, a staff tower, and a log jungle theme. The build is completely surrounded by juggle trees in the island it has a climbing frame shelter and lots of toys enjoy all right amazing a builder builders got to go up against two masters you got uh quite the competition there but this is already looking cool yeah oh, that's nice garden work definitely and uh, different trees used so you get depth different oh Ooh. oh i know that i remember that he was building this i like this it plaza. really nice I like how immersive that looks with the moat going all the way around. Let's go on in and see what we have here. We have two ways to go. But we gotta step in. So, I think you said there's red roughed lemurs oh. and... Oh, they can play the piano? No way. Does he play it? Uh, oh. Well, <laughs> He's... Maybe it's stuck on the under the tree because that tree has a very big hitbox. And maybe he's now... Yeah, I can't even click it. Just delete the tree, select the thing, undo, slide. Play the piano. Play some tunes. Let's go, buddy. No. You will hear it soon enough when they do because it's pretty loud. <laughs> oh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's got magic powers, though. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. He's confused himself too. <laughs> this guy's like, "What are you doing?" Oh, they're they're hanging out. Oh wait, you can uh, uh -huh. you can mix the red ruffin and the lemurs together. That's the ring cute. Tail. That's that's really neat. I like that. Hey oh. <laughs> Aww. Them. Mingling, having a good old time. Cute. Why is there like buffalo on the wall? Do you hear that knock knocking? I think my headphones are on backwards. Nope. I hear I hear knocking in the right speaker. What is what is the sound? Do you hear that? No. Oh, it's them walking above us. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, they really like it up here. Yeah, nice sunny area. Wow, look how immersive this is. You got like a lot of the tall trees in, which I 
really appreciate. Yeah. You made this feel like a jungle. Yes, it definitely you have works. Oh. Jungle gyms <laughs> going over the rivers, although the support structure isn't yeah. very suitable. <laughs> you need a couple big ones in the middle. Yeah, that thing's gonna nice. fall apart on them. I do like all those all those climbable areas. Mm. <clears throat> They're always fun. Some wind chimes and things over here. There's a lot of trees for them to climb, which is great. And pianos for them to play. Go for it. He's ready. What's this? Oh, <laughs> uh, this this is better. I like that animation. Mm hmm. <laughs> He's done. Oh. Walking I didn't. Even, I didn't even know that was in the game, to be honest. It's amazing. Oh, there's some lemur stuck in a box. Stuck in a box. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's that magic trick where there's like 30 of them. <clears throat> this is an interesting little this? staff area or something. Huh. I like I've seen people build it up. Yeah. yeah. It's great. It's really quite a. Uh... Wow, well done. Never. <laughs> Very unique staff buildings. Bonus points there. Yeah, I, this is this is a much more sprawling open jungle area, but I like it because it's like the guests can kind of roam around here too. And uh, yes, I think was that something I was talking about with the last one? Or no, never mind. I'm getting confused. But it, it's definitely um, it's great for a builder. I think you're you can definitely compete with the masters of this episode. So it's going to be up to the fans, the viewers. What did you guys think of this one? Leave your comments down below and be sure to click the voting thing. I'll have that pop up on screen right now. Top right hand corner. Vote on your favorite creation of the three of the lemurs here today. And uh, yeah, any final thoughts between these creations, Verona? Um, three very different creations, I would say. Um, Definitely. I, I really like what Pikachu did here. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, the I, jungle I, area works really well. <clears throat> Definitely. Yeah. No, I love the immersiveness of this one. So <clears throat> I'm not going to tell you my favorites, but I get a vote too, because it's why not? So everyone gets to vote. Click on the top right hand corner. Click the information button. Cast your vote. Let the winner go on to the winner's bracket. And uh, that's going to do it for us here today. Thank you so much for joining me, Farana. You're welcome. And thank you guys so much for viewing. And uh, we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye now. Bye.